Hello, Joshua Collin here. Thought I'd do a quick video. I'm on my phone again. It just seems like the easiest. Um, what you can see is something's old. Um, that is a old marine tank that my grandpa had in the shed at my grandma's. It had, I cut the line just so I could remove it so I didn't have to deal with it so much. Um, this had a short piece of copper pipe and then a uh, mercury uh, fuel connector, the gray twist lock ones. Uh, this is a, marine, a mercury three gallon marine tank. There's a baffle right here, which is no big deal. Um, so I needed a bigger tank because that generator only runs one hour on that half gallon tank. So, sorry, I'm, I'm just going around on a really um it had a uh, a military pr proprietary flare fitting to eighth inch pipe and i want i needed a bigger fuel tank so i got a reducer from or reducer or bushing whatever you call it from eighth to quarter a quarter inch 90 then a scepter quick disconnect uh, fitting uh, which I got at Walmart uh, is 11553 um, I'll link this and the fuel line kit uh, down under in the comments so then I was there just, I was going to buy two of these quick disconnects or just one of them then thread a fuel line from here and in there and just call it good at that, just like how this was. But when I got there at Walmart, I saw, minus that fuel filter, this uh, fuel line kit that came with another quick disconnect fitting. Uh, Sorry. Uh, had this and then another quarter inch, basically that, came with it. Primer bulb, seven feet of hose, uh, and this is super low perm hose, uh, EPA and carb compliant, uh, and uh, US Coast Guard uh, type B 1 15. Um, so I figured, you know what, that's perfect. I don't have to get, use a, a quarter inch hose, which would a little, be a little restri restrictive, but that fuel line is co tiny compared to, to whatever. Plus that I think is the same size that's used on the twin cylinders. So, okay, I got that. That is scepter 11522, and you can see it comes with the hose, the quick tick, a disc, disconnect, and a hose clamp to allow you to terminate that end, which uh, I just put this on there, this piece. Uh, so that way, okay, it's I can remove it, hose, store it somewhere else. Uh, instead of wrapping around the tank, the primer bulb that was on this fuel line, the old fuel line, was extremely hard. Probably never it was not going to work ever again. Um, so I was thinking, oh, I have to put a fighting and a piece of short piece of hose to the quick disconnect. Well, I had to un unfreeze my door on my storage unit today. Not the funnest, but whatever. Uh, so I got all the parts and all that. Uh, so I basically got this and I looked, I was looking at, hmm, I thought this was a lot closer to it, but I think they designed it so that, uh, quick disconnects and all that could go and you have enough room to do it, whatever. So I figured, you know what, I'll just try it. And yes, there's enough. Uh, enough yeah I need two hands for this so it's literally just like an airline coupler 
um, for it. So then I was thinking, okay, I want to try and protect the fuel system, even though it does have a float ball. I figured, you know what, I better just add a fuel filter just to be safe. So I was thinking, oh, in that short piece, just put a quarter inch. Well, that'd be extremely restrictive. So I went to Riley's. They had this MicroGuard 33003, uh, basically 3 8 barb, 3 8 barb. And I figured, you know what, <clears throat> that will be just fine for what I need it. Plus, if anything gets through that, which probably won't, the, the sediment bolt on the generator will also catch it. Um, I have not run it yet. I don't have any gas in the tank. I'm not going to right now. Uh, it's still winter. Uh, plus, I need to get a quieter muffler so I can run it longer. Plus, I want to update the uh, voltmeter on it. So, there's that. I'm going to take take a little rest uh, uh, this week of the today is March 5th I spent 19 hours at work over time so I'm a little bit tired they needed to get done so I was you know what I need the money so so I just went like that uh, so this is what, how, what, what it'll be running at the show off that tank uh, I do plan to eventually make a fuel tap extender uh, just to basically so I don't have to use a pair of pliers to activate the fuel valve. Of course this thing was still on the, I think on the auxiliary, auxiliary tank. Uh, whatever. So that's done for now. I'll, try, I'll probably do a trial run, put some gas in there and prime it. That's why have a primer bulb so I can prime the system so I don't have to crank it forever. Uh, another thing is this thing I put some carburetor cleaner in the gas tank and it was Wednesday maybe Tuesday I can't remember uh, I ended up having to clean a bunch of snow off down here at Makerspace. So I used this, and before I gave it an oil change, I did just, it was warm out, so I figured I'll just do some clearing, uh, clearing up, and then change the oil, and that's what I did. And this thing runs pretty nice under load. Not quite so much, not under load. The thing hunts pretty decent, that's why I figured I'll try some of the carburetor, the O'Reilly's carburetor and fuel injection cleaner, um, just to see, because that thing has, I hate the ones with the stinking plastic emulsion tubes, you can't clean them, so that's why I did that. And this bolt right here came out, uh, not last time, but the time before I used that, and uh, Get the retention tab tight enough. It it moved it moved the snow it moved the snow pretty decent. It, so this got a little tight, um, but whatever. Yeah, the uh, drive is still pretty jumpy. Uh, sometimes I don't think it likes to release, so I'm not quite sure uh, what's up with that. So. Yeah, otherwise I'm just, yeah, I'm just basically hanging in there. So, that way I have the hose which will, uh, I can uh, wrap up and put somewhere else and not wrap it around the tank because this thing was wrapped around the tank for a long time and I wasn't sure if uh, this was gonna come out cleanly but it did yeah I'm not gonna save it <sighs> but I might say I'll probably save the mercury connector that was on the other one 
I do have one more tank like this that's slightly better on the outside, but it has like green oil in it. That's probably mar uh, marine uh, two stroke gas. So I could easily uh, put that into service. There's a little bit more junk in that tank. Um, also, I have a six gallon plastic tank that is pretty weather degraded. I'm probably just going to pitch that. But there's also the old metal boat tank that's six gallon, which I probably will resurrect and burn. If there's no water in it, burn the two stroke gas in this. Who cares? I'll just smoke a little. It'll, I'll just probably mix some fresh gas in it, dilute it, and some ISO heat. Uh, otherwise, oh, another thing is I gave it a W, the thing, the tank was pretty filthy, so I gave it, I decided to give it a WD-40 bath, just to get rid of most of the junk, and I think I took some of the decal off, but whatever. So it's a metal tank and, and all that, so... Thanks for watching. Please write, please watch, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.